All right, so um, I've been getting I got a couple of uh, topic requests from a few people, and um, uh, and one of them were was the uh, um about interracial interracial relationships and how I you know feel about that um. Right now, the way the world is now, you know, interracial is is, is nothing. You know, is is just a seeing two of the same race together now. Like mostly, what I see in the gay community is well, for lesbians, I can't speak for guys, but uh, it's a black stud with a white film. That's what I usually say. See, or you know, something like that. I never really seen two. I mean, like, two films, one white, one black. I haven't seen that. But um, the way I feel about it is, you know, it depends on where you live, how people be viewing it and stuff like that. I mean, what you love is what you love. You know, that's you. And um, places like the North, like, the North is in the er everyday occurrence. It's like nothing, you know, you see them, okay, it's not like, ooh, the interracial couple. It's nothing, you know, real big on that, but, like, that's my opinion. Um, like, if you go down to Georgia, you know how it is. It's still like that, you know. It's still like that, like it was back in the day. Um, what could be to look at them strange? Well, back home, I'm from North Carolina. You know, I rarely see it. But, um, you know, it's all what you're into, so that's my take on that. And... Not much. It's just, you know, it's what you went to. I've never seen, well, I've seen a lot of gay guys, you know, interracial. I've seen a lot of that. But for lesbians, I have not seen a lot of that. Or either it'll be, um, yeah, that's the only way I've seen it is a, a, a black stud with a white girl. And, and I have seen a white stud with a black girl. I have seen that once in my day. <laughs> uh, but I don't know what's the other topic request I had. Oh, the other one was, um, what do I think about studs who stay strapped 24-7 every day? I mean, personally, I couldn't do it. It's uncomfortable to be walking around with a strap around you and stuff like that. That's uncomfortable. That's I think that's kind of, I mean, that's too much. I mean, if you're trying to go for that, I mean, go ahead, do it. I mean, but I'm not going to walk around with a strap all day. If I'm planning on using it, then I probably would, but I don't plan on using it while I'm out and about. I mean, I use it at home, but, like, if you're, if you're transitioning, into a male, I mean, you might want to get caught. I mean, you might want to stay strapped twenty four seven. That's up to you. But for me, it it looks uncomfortable to be walking around in some pants. You know, maybe I don't know all the strap designs that maybe they made them more comfortable. But I mean, it's all what you went to. I couldn't walk around with the strap on twenty four seven, three sixty five. I couldn't do it, but. Obviously, there's people out who there who have no problem with it. I would just think it would be kind of, you know, you know, walking with that, you get cut and all that, you know, sweating and stuff. That ain't cool. I couldn't walk around with it unless I planned on using it. That is, and that's just my take on those two things. Um. Oh, another one I got. Um, someone was talking about senior pictures, like studs, like what did they wear, you know, when they're taking their senior pictures. And most people, I have not seen a stud in a tux in their senior picture. But I've only seen them in the, the drape thing. And she said that, um, hold on, um, I have missed. I mean, 
I think that you should let, you know, this is stuff, let them wear the tux. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's your picture. You the one buying it. Why, I mean, she had to even get um, permission from the principal to, you know, wear what she wanted to wear, and they made it a real big scene about it. Like, just like going for prom. Some proms, like, they don't let, they the female has to be in a dress. I know some schools like that. But like, I mean, if you were stud, you don't you don't wear a dress. You don't own a dress. For most studs, don't own a dress. So what like that's uncomfortable for them, so why would you make that uncomfortable for them to have to wear a dress? And there's some schools that let them wear whatever they want to wear. And I don't for my part I I couldn't I took my picture in a dress. That was because I, I was, that was my only choice, and I went to a Christian school, so it wasn't no, I'm going to put on the tux. It wasn't none of that. It was, I'm going to put on that drape, I'm put on that drape. <laughs> but but if you have a, uh, a choice to, you know, go against the grain or what, you know, society may think you have to wear, I do it. Because it, it's what you, it's what you want, and you should go for what you want. And like it's it's not cool to see a stud in a drape. It ain't cool. It's really not cool. But um, you we do that's that on that. Um, let's see. Yeah. So for those three topics, that's what I think about them. And, you know, just keep the topics coming. And they all don't have to be about gay stuff. I mean, there's other stuff out there. But I do appreciate those topics. They're pretty cool. Um, but that's it.